Good evening. I'm Paul Major. And I'm Laura Diaz. Here's the latest at 11 o'clock. A bizarre love triangle. Tonight, a space shuttle astronaut is behind bars. She is accused of going on a determined mission from Houston to Orlando with weapons. Her plan to kidnap a romantic rival who was involved with the space shuttle pilot. CBS News' Lena Wynn is here now with more. Lena. Laura, from the International Space Station to the inside of a jail, a female astronaut is arrested after apparently confronting a fellow astronaut's girlfriend. Now, what authorities found on her and what she told them she did along the way is simply bizarre. This is the Lisa Nowak fellow astronauts knew. This is Nowak's booking photo. The 43-year-old married U.S. Navy captain who flew last July on a shuttle mission to the International Space Station is now making national headlines, accused of trying to break up a nasty NASA love triangle by attempting to kidnap the other woman. Colleen Shipman had flown from Houston to Orlando. Nowak drove the 1,000 miles, telling authorities she wore diapers to avoid having to make restroom stops. Wearing a wig and trench coat, Nowak followed Shipman to her car, asked for help, then sprayed mace into Shipman's eyes. Police say the evidence against Nowak is overwhelming. Officers found a BB gun, steel mallet, a four-inch folding knife, rubber tubing, $600 in cash, garbage bags, and more. It looks like it was a fairly elaborate plan, and we believe that uh, she was probably going to try to kidnap the victim and, uh, you know, possibly do uh, serious bodily harm. All over the affections of fellow astronaut Bill Ophelin. Mission controllers gave Nowak the nickname RoboChick because she operated the shuttle's robotic arm. Looking as if she felt on top of the world before her launch last summer, tonight, a hard landing for her Stephanie back on Earth. Wilson. It's a really, really sad, sad case uh, that, uh, you know, somebody uh, of that stature uh, that success in her professional career ends up finding herself on the other side of the law facing some, some very serious charges. The man at the center of this love triangle is not married and had trained with Nowak, but the two have never flown together. Paul? Lena, thank you very much. A dream vacation to Mexico has turned into a cruise to nowhere for some passengers on a carnival cruise ship. CBS 2's Glenn Walker is live in San Pedro with more on this. Glenn. Yeah, Paul, well, one of the couples we talked to tonight, this was to be a vacation of a lifetime, but... When the uh, Carnival Pride pulled out of the Port of Los Angeles tonight, 30 hours late, that couple and many others were no longer on board. Tonight, the Carnival Pride finally made its way out of Los Angeles Harbor, more than a day after it was scheduled to leave on a seven-day cruise to Mexico. We have planned for 16 years to take this trip. Diana Nelson and her husband Armando Valdez, Ontario residents, and the other passengers were told the Carnival Pride has experienced a technical problem with the propulsion system. By 8 o'clock tonight, the first two stops in Puerto Vallarta and Mazatlan had been canceled. That is when the Nelsons and some other passengers decided to leave the ship. I don't want to be on the news stranded in the middle of the ocean. But what really upset the Nelsons and other passengers, like the Labrescos from Pennsylvania, was how they say they were treated when they decided to leave the ship. The purser told us, uh, come down, bring your bags down with you and check out and take your bags and go ahead and leave. We will not help you. Bring your bags down and we will not give you a ride back to the airport. You're on your own. And the guy, ooh, he wouldn't let us off. Would not let us off, would not assist us, wouldn't let us take the, and I have a lot of luggage, as you can see. Wouldn't let us have the rollers. Said, tough, carry it yourself. Now, we were told by the passengers that uh, many of them were offered some discounts and some partial refunds to uh, stay on board the ship. However, those two couples did decide to leave. We tried to contact Carnival Cruise Lines tonight. Uh, we did call them, but we have not heard back. That is the latest from San Pedro. Glenn Walker, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Glenn. A murder mystery is finally solved tonight. LAPD cold case investigators use modern technology to find a killer three decades after that murder. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is live with the story. Lisa. Laura, it took some good old detective work and high-tech tools to make this happen. Yeah. These are LAPD crime scene photos, March 1973. 54-year-old George Acopian of Tarzana sat at this table. The man across from him said he was there to buy a stamp collection. Minutes later, Acopian's wife heard a scuffle, a gunshot, and her husband was dead. The case went cold until Detective Rick Jackson and his partner got their hands on it. They got the print, and it's been sitting around. The prints were found on a newspaper the shooter left behind in his satchel. I will find our ending ridges. Using a database not available in the 70s, the detectives were led to Francis Fico, a career criminal in and out of prison. He matched the description and then the final piece, 
Detectives talked to the suspect's widow. And she said was that up until his death, he would routinely comb newspapers for stamp collections. George Acopian's family will never face FICO in court. He died 11 years ago in a traffic accident in Spokane, Washington. But detectives say it's a case closed more than 30 years later. There are thousands of LAPD cold case files here at Parker Center. They have a team dedicated to solving as many of them as they can. Live at Parker Center, I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you very much. A burning question after a small brush fire. Who is the charred body found in the debris? CBS 2's Mary Beth McDade is live in the city of industry. Mary Beth. Well, Paul, the body was found today here at this L.A. County maintenance yard behind me. However, this whole murder mystery began to unravel in the wee hours of Sunday morning, not too far from here. That's when a passing motorist dropped by a fire station and reported a brush fire. Firefighters responded to a brush fire in this drainage ditch around 3 Sunday morning along Turnbull Canyon Road in Hacienda Heights. They then called the L.A. County Department of Public Works to come and clean up the debris. At this point, there was no cause for concern, and so the workers just loaded it up and brought it back to a nearby maintenance yard in industry. The body was, uh, was brought back here, believing to be, to be uh, a mannequin or something. Then on Monday morning, as the Public Works employees were getting ready to empty out their truck, they got a closer look at what they thought was a mannequin and realized it was actually charred human remains. Once in the daylight this morning, they took a look again before they disposed of it and realized that the possibility was a body. Residents in the Turnbull Canyon area aren't surprised by the gruesome discovery. They say the desolate area has become a bit of a dumping ground for bodies. I've been here for about seven years, and uh, this is um, one, two, about the third body that we've they've come across. And tonight, the coroner is still trying to identify the body. Authorities say that it was so badly burned, it's hard to tell if it was a man or a woman or the cause of death. For now, reporting live in the city of industry, Mary Beth McDade, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Mary Beth. Investigators are hoping new pictures will help solve a murder. Look closely at the woman in these photographs. Someone shot and killed Nicole Harvey earlier this month, then set her body on fire. Her smoldering remains were found on a street in Playa del Rey. Patrick Solis, the adult daycare worker accused of slapping two disabled men, is free tonight on bail. He's facing three felony counts of false imprisonment and abuse. The man who recorded the incidents on his cell phone has come forward as a potential witness. It is a disturbing case of child abuse that has sparked outrage in Oregon. A man is charged with repeatedly using a 100,000-volt stun gun on his 18-month-old son. Police say 23-year-old Ryan Whitman's wife told them he used the gun on the boy several times over a three-week period. The child was treated for burns and blisters, and tonight he is in foster care. A Las Vegas Catholic priest accused of attacking and sexually assaulting a church singer will be arraigned in Arizona tomorrow. Tonight, we have the victim's chilling 911 call. Help me. This is the fire department. What happened? Did you fall? No, I got beaten up. You got beaten up. Okay. Horribly. My hair has been pulled out of my head. Okay. Where is the person who did this to you? I don't know. He's, he's going to kill himself. Police arrested George Janine in Arizona after he spent six days on the run. Police say he hit the woman on the head with a wine bottle, dragged her into his office, and assaulted her. Off-screen drama for Ryan O'Neill. Police say that the actor fired a gun during a weekend feud with his 42-year-old son. CBS2 Entertainment reporter Christina McClarty has the 911 call. Okay, what's wrong? I got hit by something. He had a little gun, but he just shot a little shot. He didn't point it in any general direction. He just kind of like, you know, fired it, you know, and because, I mean, the guy was in fear of his life. A frantic few moments for Joanne Barry, the pregnant girlfriend of actor Ryan O'Neill's son Griffin. She hysterically reacts to an argument between O'Neill and Griffin, a fight that broke out right after O'Neill returned from his celebration, marking his friend Farrah Fawcett's triumphant battle over cancer. Ryan, did you use a gun on your son? Oh. O'Neill says Griffin swung at him with a fireplace poker, and it was on the third swing when Griffin's girlfriend fell victim. Yes. Yeah, you need to calm down so I can get the information. Okay. Friend Charlie Matera speaks out, revealing O'Neill's son Griffin was beating up his younger brother, Redmond. And in an exclusive reaction, sister Tatum O'Neill reveals to Entertainment Tonight, quote, my heart goes out to Redmond, Griffin, and JoJo. Redmond has been going through a hard time, and we have all been trying to help him. No matter what my dad is saying in the press, Griffin was not trying to start a fight with him. 
He was attempting to protect Redmond. I'm sure when the police sort out the facts, the truth will be revealed. And Tatum and her father have not spoken in years. In fact, she even wrote an autobiography blasting her dad. As for O'Neill, he's home tonight. He was released on $50,000 bail. Live in the newsroom, I'm Christina McClarty. Back to you. Christina, thank you. A close call for firefighters in the Westlake District. Four crew members fell through a burning staircase at a duplex. One suffered second-degree burns on his hands. Another was treated for a dislocated shoulder. Firefighters also rescued two tenants. The fire may have been sparked by a meth lab explosion in the basement. Arson investigators are trying to determine what caused a fire at a downtown L.A. bridal shop. The building was destroyed, but firefighters stopped the flames from spreading. No one was injured. As if car horns weren't annoying enough, there's a new blaster that's guaranteed to raise your blood pressure. CBS 2's Jennifer Sabi is live in Hollywood with more on this story. Jen? Laura, cover your ears. There's a new car horn being sold that is so excruciatingly loud, it's painful. The sound of a horn honk can be jarring enough, but wait until you hear what's coming around the bend. A blasting horn made for trains some drivers are now installing on their personal vehicles. It sounds like an actual train passing you. I'm sure you've been stuck at a you know, cross gate at one time or another. It just encompasses you. It's, it's obnoxious. Obnoxious for sure, but horn blasters say business is booming. You're watching demonstration video provided by the company, and if you have any doubt how heart-stopping, <laughs> ear-splitting, <laughs> anger-provoking, <laughs> being honked at by a horn made to warn people away from train tracks, just watch people's reactions. You got time. You got time tonight. What time you close? Tonight. Now, to give you an idea of just how loud it is, anything over 85 decibels can harm your hearing. This train horn is 152 decibels. That's louder than a jet engine. And in this reporter's opinion, much too noisy for L.A. <laughs> Reporting live from Hollywood, I'm Jennifer Sabi, CBS 2 News. Jennifer, thank you very much. Granny got her gun and used it to rob a bank near Houston. It happened Friday morning. A woman in her early 70s gave the teller a note demanding cash. The teller handed it over without incident. The woman left and hasn't been seen since. Hooked on Oxycontin and turning to hard crime. These thieves aren't knocking off liquor stores to support their habit. They're gunning straight for the pharmacists. CBS2 investigative reporter David Goldstein shows us. The man at the counter isn't filling a prescription the normal way. He's using a gun. Watch the store surveillance videotape. It shows the brazen robber allegedly pulling a pistol out of his waistband, walking around the counter, then putting it within inches of the pharmacist's head. At another pharmacy, this man puts a knife to a female employee's throat, then waves it at others while making his demands. They fill up his bag. He eventually lets the employee go unharmed. Both men walk out of the pharmacy with their bags filled with loot. Not money, but this. OxyContin, a highly addictive prescription painkiller that's second only to crack cocaine as the most abused narcotic in the country. And the idea behind most of those robberies is to gain money to support a habit. So in this instance, the robber is essentially going directly to the source. The source is the local pharmacy. This robbery was in Connecticut, this one in New Jersey, and it's happening all over the country. In Indianapolis, police say this man walks into the local CVS pharmacy, not realizing he's being videotaped. Once at the counter, he pulls his sunglasses down and allegedly threatens the clerk and demands OxyContin. The pharmacist complies with a bag full of drugs. The suspect walks out of the store just like any customer. In Tampa, Florida, this suspect allegedly walks in carrying a threatening note. He hands it to the pharmacist, gets his drugs, and walks out. And now robberies like these in broad daylight are making their way to Southern California, even trendy Newport Beach. They're not interested in the money at all. Last December, this pharmacy in Newport Beach was robbed of all its OxyContin. The suspect was spotted on surveillance cameras and also spotted by the pharmacist. This one 
was uh, a, a little bit remarkable because the uh, clerks working there identified him from three years earlier. Uh, he had committed the same armed robbery at that same pharmacy. According to the California Board of Pharmacies, there were at least nine armed OxyContin robberies statewide last year and 13 break-ins where the drug was targeted. All totaled, more than 15,000 pills were stolen. On the street, just one pill can go for $80. And while thieves are using armed force to get them, pharmacists are now fighting back. You know, they're armed robberies, essentially, and people come into a pharmacy, and sometimes it's a chain pharmacy, sometimes, sometimes it's a smaller pharmacy. We had an incident uh, about two years ago in which a pharmacist actually shot and killed a robber down in San Diego. Pharmacists are also adding more security cameras, and some are locking up the OxyContin in safes just like cash, hoping to stop the illegal filling of prescriptions that's fueling a nationwide epidemic. And the manufacturer of OxyContin is also fighting back. It started a nationwide tracking system to analyze the pattern of robberies and also working with pharmacists to educate them on what to look for to protect the public. Paul, Laura? Eventually you'll have shields and windows and all that. Yeah, it might come to that yeah. one day, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, David. Well, are you looking for luscious lips? Hey, you're not alone. Plastic surgeons say it's become one of the most popular procedures. But how do you get the perfect pout without your lips looking like overblown balloons? CBS 2's Lena Wynn checks out a couple of the options. I just want a little more of a, like, a pout. While model Caitlin Lichtenwalner just wants to plump up the volume. As I've gotten older, my lips have just lost their definition, which is why the liner is such a must-have for me. Busy mom Elizabeth Dreyer wants to lose her lip liner to save time in front of the mirror. I'm going to have the perfect pout. On the quest for the perfect pout, these ladies check in with Dr. John Joseph of Beverly Hills. The lip leader says choosing between the two most popular plumpers is like taking the Pepsi challenge. The best ones are Juvederm and Restylane. They're very similar. One may suit you better than another. Up first, our working mother tries the newest of the two dermal fillers, Juvederm. It's going to take us a little longer to figure out exactly how Juvederm works relative to Restylane, only because it is so new. One syringe and a few pinpricks later, full and lined lips. Doctors say there may be less swelling and bruising with the latest lip enhancer. Next, Caitlin is numb and ready for Restylane. This tried and true injectable lasts about six months, and in just one syringe, our model is ready for her close up. Two days later, our mom is back in front of the mirror and says she loves what she sees. My lips are back. I love them. That was Lena Wynn reporting. Caitlin was away on a shoot, but she says she loves her new pout. The two fillers are also competitive in price, about $500. That's according to Johnny Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the perfect pout, I think, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, tomorrow night at 11, doctors call it a diet revolution. I think we're ready. Pushing the pedals. Pushing the limit of weight loss. And I've lost about 55 to 60 pounds. Holly Thomas is part of a new health study that could revolutionize the way we diet. It suppressed my appetite. I've kind of had to make myself eat at times. I feel like a new person now. The burst of energy comes from biking and from a bottle. It is the new wave of weight loss and a pill tomorrow night right here at 11 o'clock. We're always waiting for that, aren't we? Just yep. that pill that does it all. Yeah, because it's hard not to <laughs> eat and exercise yeah, yeah. all the time. Exactly. <laughs> Read something <laughs> simple, huh? That's right. Well, thank you very much for coming to me. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. Yeah, well, thank yeah. you very much, yeah. Mr. Luscious. It was lips. nice of you to share that information. No, well, thank you. Yeah. Yes, that's why I'm here. You've got I'm... lips like Angelina. I can yeah, see it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, let's face it, i got lips like a chicken. <laughs> Slits. You can't do much with it. You know what? Let's take a look right now. The weather is going to be changing for us after we had some really warm temperatures happening over the Southland. But now, notice what's happening to us right now. Some clouds rolling on in from the west, as you can see, uh, right off the ocean. So temperatures are going to be cooling down just a bit for us between now and the next couple of days. But not today. Downtown, it was 90 today. Santa Monica, 83, a record. These are all records. LAX, 84, a record. And at Pierce College, 86, a record. Long Beach, tied 
at uh, 86 degrees. So warm temperatures today, warm temperatures yesterday, but there is a change coming. High clouds, you saw them just a moment ago. More of those headed our way tomorrow. Ocean clouds, fog and low clouds will be with us over the next couple of days. 10 to 15 degrees cooler and breezes in the mountains and also in the deserts. That's your next uh, 48 hours with a chance of some showers to the north of Point Conception on Wednesday. Tomorrow should be uh, cooler, breezy, and a few clouds coming in, even though we will see uh, some sunshine tomorrow. But there's that change. It's going to be happening midweek. By the way, if you want a gloat factor, it's a minus 10 tonight in Minneapolis. And if you're thinking about the game yesterday, the big old Super Bowl that we carried for you, by the way, it has not stopped raining. It's still raining in Miami. Cold temperatures around the Great Lakes region. Going out right now, you're 48 hours. The first day is going to be tomorrow, your Tuesday. But I want you to watch right here. We start to get the cooler air from the north beginning to roll on in on Wednesday. And that will cool us down somewhat. Temperatures overnight cooling into the 40s. Still fairly nice out there after we were into the 80s and 90s today. But cooler tomorrow, Pasadena, Ontario, 77, maybe 80 at Riverside, 81 at Hemet and along the coast temperatures between about 72 to 75. For the uh, valleys, mostly sunny in the morning. Then we'll have high clouds in the afternoon, about 80 degrees. And here you go, the big cool down headed by Thursday, a chance of some showers coming in late Wednesday, light showers anywhere between a tenth and a quarter of an inch right through Sunday on into Monday. We're going to be watching this very closely. Have a great evening. All right, All right you too, you sir. Johnny. Thank you very much. Well, don't be fooled by the uniforms. Up next, crooks impersonating cops busted on the streets of Los Angeles. Also, is a muffin the new diet secret of the stars? See why some won't start their day without it. In sports, the Lakers go for their second straight win on the road tonight in Atlanta. Stay with us. Tuesday at 11, you diet, you exercise, but still find it impossible to shed those extra pounds. Now, this new pill could revolutionize dieting. Find out what's in it and why some doctors say it may change everything about weight loss. Tuesday on CBS2 News at 11. That salesman with sneaky. You think you've agreed on a price, and then they play games with interest rates and trade-ins, and I hate buying cars. On behalf of the entire automotive industry, I apologize. I'd never do that. I'm different. I sell Hondas. It's my job to be helpful. Helpful? Then would you help me rehearse for this play I'm in? Eau Claire, you know I love you. Liar! Ow, that really hurt. That's not your line. OK, let's do it again. It was the perfect kingdom until 1-1 changed it all. Unravel happily ever after. I am not going to let you get away with this. Cinderella 3, a twist in time on Disney DVD tomorrow. Rated G. Nice catch. But why not come to Hometown Buffet for savory crab cakes, buttercrumb Alaska pollock, sweet orange shrimp, and more. All for one low price. Three from the sea, Thursday through Saturday nights, only at Hometown Buffet. Durability and reliability now built into laptops for you because your work matters. Tough buck. Work anywhere. Risk nothing. Panasonic. Ideas for life. I believe that a commitment to community service enriches the life of a human being. You try to create a world, a climate, where people can look through complexion and see community. By doing so, your life is enlarged. You belong to everybody, and everybody belongs to you. Auto claustrophobia. It affects more people than you think. Oh. But there's hope on the horizon, and it's called the Nissan Versa. Versa provides relief with best in class rear seat leg. Huh? Versa keeps you going for over 400 miles on just one tank. <laughs> Versa will save the world from auto claustrophobia, one driver at a time. Ask your Nissan dealer if Versa is right for you. CBS 2 News is sponsored in part by Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. Three men are in jail tonight, accused of playing cops when they were really robbers. Real police officers were tipped off by a victim who told them about this fake cop car. The suspects had altered security uniforms to look like real officers and were allegedly shaking down illegal street vendors. 
San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom says that he will seek counseling for alcohol abuse. Newsom said his alcohol treatment will not affect his duties as mayor. He also said he's still planning on seeking his second term in office. Last week, Newsom admitted he had an affair with the wife of his campaign manager. It is the California Lottery's newest way to make you a millionaire. But you better act quickly if you want to get in on the game. We'll explain why coming up next. An accord can reflect many things. A higher standard of fuel economy. A commitment to a lower cost of ownership. A forward-thinking approach to design. And a total appreciation for the pure pleasure of driving. The Accord from Honda. You might say it's the perfect reflection of you. Lease a Honda Accord for $1.99 a month for well-qualified customers. Circuit City is the place to find the latest computers from Toshiba with the new Microsoft Windows Vista operating system, powered by Intel Centrino Duo Mobile Technology. Stop by a store near you or CircuitCity.com today to see Toshiba's huge selection of powerful notebook computers, like this Toshiba satellite with Intel Centrino Duo and Vista Premium operating system. Now just $849.99 after $150 instant rebate. The new redesigned Lincoln Navigator, the SUV that can help you reach your dreams, is more attainable than ever. With a luxurious all-new interior, power third-row seats, power liftgate, and power deployable running boards, now Navigator goes even farther. Introducing the all-new Navigator L, with nearly 15 inches more length and over 24 more cubic feet of cargo space. For a limited time, lease the redesigned Navigator starting at only $539 a month for 36 months. Hurry to your Southern California Lincoln Mercury dealer. What's your reason for calling Empire today for your new carpet? Shop at home convenience? We'll bring brand name samples to your home so you can choose the color and texture that's just right for you. Immediate installation? Empire will install your new carpet next day. On a budget? Save with Warehouse Direct prices plus no payments till April 2008. Shop at home next day installation and no payments till April 2008. All great reasons to call Empire today. Call now. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. An itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. Yo Play Light is clinically shown to help you burn more fat and lose more weight than just cutting calories alone. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny Burn more fat, lose more weight. Yo Play Light. This car is packed with technology. But I find it very easy to use. The car is, is simple, intuitive. It's elegant, it's beautiful. The way it makes you feel, the safety, the security, the comfort. We walked away from the accident because of that car. The car is an absolute rocket. It's just a wonderful car to drive. You get what you pay for, it's that simple. When I was a kid, I thought these cars were the most beautiful in the world. And I still do. CBS 2 News is sponsored in part by Mercedes-Benz. A special muffin has become the must-have breakfast of the rich and famous. The tasty treat is made by Zone Chefs. And it is the favorite of many stars, including Tori Spelling and Carmen Electra. They're based on the Zone Diets Ratio of 40-30-30. Carbs, protein, and healthy fat. I know you want one right now, don't you, Paul? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate dinner a little while ago. <laughs> you wouldn't want it anyway. I know you. Well, tickets are now on sale for the California Lottery's new million-dollar raffle. Ten $1 million grand prizes will be awarded on St. Patrick's Day. Only 5 million tickets will be sold, giving players the best odds ever in a California lottery game. Each Saturday, leading up to the big drawing, a $10,000 prize will be awarded. Each raffle number sells for $5. Will Tiger Woods skip the Nissan Open? Jim Hill is here with a preview of sports, Jimmy. Paul, besides golf and pro football, yesterday the Indianapolis Colts beat the Chicago Bears to win Super Bowl 41. And today, the Super Bowl champions return home to a hero's welcome. We will hear from head coach Tony Dungy and Kobe carried the Lakers to another road victory tonight, this time in Atlanta. Those stories are next in sports. David Letterman, Dr. Phil, the grudge match continues. What the hell is wrong with you? What you I find myself almost uncontrollably obsessed with Oprah. Plus, Peyton Manning? I am the champion! 
It's all new on Dave, celebrating 25 years in late night. Then catch Craig. Active, definitely. The gym, the track, the field. Unstoppable, that's me. The next generation Nissan Sentra. Just awarded five stars for frontal crash test safety. Life's 24 7. So is my Nissan Sentra. Busy? That's an understatement. My week, it's like one long day. Perfect. So where do I chill out? The next generation Nissan Sentra. Only $189 a month. Life is 24 7. So is my Nissan Sentra. Strong winds and sunlight. The Earth's heat surfacing is steam. Abundant sources of clean energy to help meet our state's growing need for electricity. Southern California Edison, an Edison International company, leads the nation in the use of renewable energy, enough to supply more than two million homes. And since clean energy is something we believe in, we'll keep working to bring the benefits of nature's power plants directly to you. For over a hundred years, life powered by Edison. Really good, mm -hmm. and uh, they and they live in the house. Uh -huh. Want to change the color of him? I mean, it has legs, and I don't know what it is. Um, and 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 there's worms and some bugs, but his head is so tiny. Who would you give a Volvo to? Lease a 2007 XC90 3.2 for $399 a month for 24 months. Okay, one last putt, then I gotta go do my taxes. Still do your own taxes? Yeah, what, you don't? No, I got people. You got people? Yeah, get my people on it, my people get back to me. How long do you have people? Five years, same guy. Hello? Hey, Dennis, it's my people. Oh. Yeah, let me With H&R Block, you got 90,000 tax professionals, any one of whom can become your personal tax professional. Ooh, coming back. Oh, dear. Mom, I think it's time I got my own cell phone. Phones are expensive. Uh, wouldn't you rather get a tattoo? Dad, I think it's time I got my own cell phone. I think it's time you got a job. Dad, could I have my own cell phone? Worried your kids will run up a huge wireless bill? What? I can't, no, I can't hear you. Now with T-Mobile, families get more minutes to share. 1,000 for just $49.99. T-Mobile, stick together. Carlo to Godon. Red carpets, stunning vistas, and hairpin turns. In no particular order. Range Rover Sport, designed for the extraordinary. We begin sports tonight in pro basketball as the Lakers resume their eight-game road trip tonight in Atlanta. The Lakers have really been criticized lately of playing to the level of inferior teams. Question is, would that be the case tonight against the lowly Hawks? Well, former Hawk Dominique Wilkins was on hand for this game tonight in the second quarter. Joe Johnson with the alley-oop to Josh Smith that tied the game at 16. And then later, Kobe comes up and he'll find Jordan Farmer for the three-pointer. Lakers were up by nine points at halftime. We go to the third quarter now, and the Hawks are on an 8-0 run. Josh Childress with a three-pointer. That put Atlanta up by two points. And in the fourth quarter, Kobe takes over. He knocks down this three-pointer that put the Lakers up by seven points. The Hawks answer as Johnson makes a three-pointer of his own. That made it a four-point lead for the Lakers, but Kobe had the answer. That one. Kobe again. Here comes the double. There it goes. That's it. They were even cheering for him in Atlanta to be the MVP, right? Kobe finished with 27 points. Lakers won it 90 to 83. When you get it going like that, is there any way to describe it, or is it just something you have to do? I mean, you weren't even hitting the rim. You hit three, four in a row that were all swishes. You no, know, it, it just it felt, I felt pretty good. You know, I came in and, uh, you know, knocked down my first jumper, and the second one felt good as well, and it just started falling for me. Question now, when will Tiger Woods put his seven straight PGA uh, titles on the line? Well, according to his website, not at Riviera for the Nissan Open, which begins February the 15th, it's the only tournament in which Tiger has made at least three career starts without a victory. And finally tonight, the city of Indianapolis held a parade in honor of the Colts, who beat the Chicago Bears yesterday to win Super Bowl 41. Despite temperatures at seven below, more than 40,000 fans turned out for the parade, which finished at the RCA Dome. And Colt head coach Tony Dungy dedicated the win to the fans and team owner Jim Irsay. He said, I want you to be our coach. 
and he said, I want you to win a Super Bowl. But we also said one other thing. We're going to win one the right way. We're going to win it with great guys. We're going to win it with class and dignity. And we're going to win it in a way that would make Indianapolis proud. And now Colton and sports fans everywhere are crossing their fingers, hoping that Tony Dungy comes back and coaches next year. Uh -huh. We hope he does, yes. Yeah, they did it the way you said yes. they did it. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jimmy. That's going to do it for us. We know you have many choices for news, and we thank you for choosing CBS2. Remember, we're always on at CBS2.com. Dave is coming up next. Don't forget to watch CBS2 News tomorrow starting at 5 a.m. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.